So now we're gonna talk about numeral systems. So if you already know hexadecimal, and if you already know how to get go from decimal to binary, then skip this video. <laughs> or maybe you just wanna watch it for kicks. But right here we have a link in our course outline, which is called Course Resources. So if you go to Course Resources, you'll see the course outline, which will bring you right back to the course outline if you click that, but I just want you to be able to have that link. And there's also this link here to course resources. And so I'm just gonna bring those up in case you're watching the video and you don't have those. You can see them right there and you could actually enter that in your browser and it'll take you there. Pause the video if you need to look at it for longer. <laughs> All right, whoa, there it goes. So now I'm gonna click on this and it's gonna open course resources. Here are the course resources for our, uh, our class. And you can see MBH, MBH, cool, same one. And we have this one link right here, which is numeral systems. So I'm gonna click on that, and this is gonna bring this up, and we are going to go back to elementary school here for a few minutes, and I didn't remember this. I didn't remember ever being taught this in elementary school, but a lot of people tell me, oh yeah, I totally learned that in elementary school. So here it is. The numeral system, a numeral system is a system we use to keep track of numbers. So numeral is like another word for numbers. And the numeral system which we use as humans is called base 10 decimal. Maybe that prefix deci means 10 in Latin or Greek, I don't know, <laughs> right? But we use base 10. Why do we use base 10? Probably because we have 10 fingers. And so it just became really natural for us to count in increments of 10. But base 10, a base 10 numeral system is what you've been doing all of your life, ever since you learned how to count. And this is how it works. We have the ones place, the tens place, the hundreds place, the thousands place, the blah, 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 so on and so forth, up and up and up. And the way that that works mathematically is we have in each spot, we have a place where we can put digits, 10 digits, and the digits that could go there are zero to nine. You can't put the digit 10 there because the digit 10 is two digits. <laughs> you can only put one digit in each spot, right? And so you could put zero to nine there. So if I was to say that I have $12, I would have one $10 bill in this example. I'd have a one in the 10 spot and I would have two, two $1 bills in the one spot. That's how I'd represent $12. Most of us don't think about it like this, but understanding this framework is gonna allow us to go from base 10 to base two to base 16. You have to get the principle of how a numeral system works and how base 10 works. Once you understand that, you can jump to base two and base 16. So how does the base 10 numeral, decimal numeral system, how does it work? You can put one digit in each one of these spots. How did we come up with these spots? How did we come up with the one spot? We take base 10, so there's the 10, to the power of zero. Anything to the power of zero is one. <laughs> Let's just prove that. Two to the power, and it's this character, of zero. I have some doubt, but I'm pretty sure that's right. And the answer is one. What about 200 to the power of zero? And the answer is one. What about 37? The answer is one. What about 42? Okay, we've proven this point, one. <laughs> cool, so anything to the power of zero is one. And so where did our little document on numeral systems go? Uh, uh, uh. There we go, sweet. So 10 to the zero is the one spot, and we could say we have zero ones. We could have one, one, two, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can't do 10. If you do 10, your stuff goes over to the next category and you've got one 10. You've got one in the 10 spot. So that's how numeral systems work. Here's an exercise for you. Draw this out, what you see on the screen right now. Draw it out on a piece of paper, sketch it out. Do it from memory. Start with 10 to the zero, 10 to the one, 10 to the two, 10 to the three, 10 to the four. Go as high as you want. Get your ones place, tens place, hundreds place, thousands place. Get those places and then write down the number 42,000, 42,000, 42,420, there we go. I like that, a lot of 42s. Write down the number 42,420. Did you do it? Okay, here's the answer. 
I need four ten thousands, that's 40,000. I need two thousands, that's 42,000. I need four one hundreds, that's 400. I need two tens, that's 20, and I need zero ones. That's 42,420. Look, 42,420. If we just wrote 42,420, you would look at that and say that's 42,420. Now you're looking at it in the way of this framework, looking at how numeral systems work. Cool, got it? If not, watch that part again. And now we're gonna take a look at, what is the next one? Binary. So before I even show it to you, I want you to take base two and on your piece of paper, go two to the zero, two to the one, two to the two, two to the four, two to the three, two to the four, two to the five. Do that out as far as you wanna go and get your little categories where your numbers go. So pause this video and do that now. <laughs> so when you did that, and here we're moving on, you should have gotten something like this. Two to the zero, two to the one, two to the two, two to the three, two to the four. This is the one spot, that's the two spot, that's the four spot. Two to the power of four is four. This is the eight spot, this is a 16 spot. That's a mind bender. Let your mind bend for a second. Pause the video, reflect on this. You are going to base two, but we can use base two just like base 10. And in each spot, in base 10, we have the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. In base two, we have the ones, twos, fours, eights. In each spot, we could store only one digit. When we're working on base 10, we got 10 digits, zero through nine. Okay, not 10, <laughs> zero through nine. When we're working on base two, we have two digits. Base two, we have zero and one, zero and one, that's it. Cool, so now if we wanted to write a number down, so get these, oh, oh don't wanna show you that yet. Get these numbers on your piece of paper. Let me just get that perfect right there. And I want you to write down the number one in binary. Okay, here's the number one in binary. Let me get rid of these and I'll just make those zeros. They could be zeros or not be there at all, but they're there, so I'll leave them. Number one, that's the number one in, in binary. Now the number two. Well, I have one, two, and I have zero ones. Now the number three. Well, I have one, two, and I have one, one. That's the number three in binary. Now the number four in binary. Okay, I got one $4 bill and I got zero $2 bills and I got zero $1 bills. That is the number four in binary. There's a joke in binary, and that joke is that there are, let me write it out, it looks better here. There are one zero types of people in the world. Look, it's bringing it up even, we could just find the results, and I bet you it's a poster or a t-shirt. Images, there we go. There are only 10 types of people in this world, those who understand binary and those who don't. You have zero in the one spot, you have one in the two spot. <laughs> so there are two types of people in the world. Two is how we'd say that in decimal, decimal, base 10, deci. One zero is the way we'd say that in binary. It's a numeral system expressing quantities. If we wanted to express the quantity two, I have two hands, I could say that that's two, I could say two in decimal, in binary, I would say one zero. I have one zero hands, one zero hands right here. A numeral system allows us to quantify and convey a quantity, a quantity of something, okay? Sweet. All right, so you have binary. Let me give you a little bit of a hands-on exercise. So the hands-on exercise is I want you to write down the number 42 in binary. Pause this video and do that now, the number 42. <laughs> All right, so here's how you do the number 42 in binary. Go to the biggest number that you could go to. I'm gonna need a 32, I'm gonna need an eight, right? So that's 40, and I'm gonna need a two, I'm done. 30, I have one 32, I have one eight, so that's 40, and then I have one two, that's 42. That's 42 in binary. Sweet, now let's go to base 16, whoa, base 16. Well, if you could only have one digit in each slot, how do we do base 16? Because base 16, if like in decimal, we have zero through nine, 10 digits, and in binary, we have zero and one, two digits, and if we're at base 16, how do we do like one, one character, one digit in each slot? Because 16, you gotta have two, right? This is the way it works. You do zero through nine, which is the first 10, and then you have to do six more, so you use letters of the alphabet to represent 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Zero through 15 is 16, base 16, right? 16 digits, 16 numbers, uh, so that's, that's how you do it. Zero through nine, and then A, B, C, D, E, F. 
A, B, C, D, E, F. A is 10, B is 11, C is 12, D is 13, E is 14, and F is 15. That's how you do it. So base 16, you're gonna do the same thing. 16 to the zero, 16 to the one, 16 to the two, 16 to the three, 16 to the four. And you'll get the one spot, the 16 spot, the 256 spot, the 4096's spot. And again, you could create numbers. So if I wanted to say I have the number eight, I would do that like this. Eight. If I wanted to say I have the number 10, I would do that like this. A, and you can use lowercase or uppercase, doesn't matter. A, <laughs> right? If I wanted to say that I have the number 15, 10 is A, 10 is A, 11 is B, 12 is C, 13 is D, 14 is E, 15 is F. 15 is F. So zero through 15, if I wanna say I have the number 16, there's the number 16 in hexadecimal. I want you to do the number 911, 911 in hexadecimal, okay? So pause the video, do the number 911 in hexadecimal. So 911, I'm gonna go 911, here's the answer, I'm gonna divide by 16, and I've got 56. So 56 times 16, 56 times 16 is 896. So 56 times 16. So I have 56 16s. Can I put 56 16s? I need 911. So 256, I could do three 256s. So that's gonna be 600. What's three times 256? Three times 256, 753. 768, I was close. 768, and now I need 768, 7, 911, my 768, I need uh, 143. So 143 divided by 16 is I need eight, eight sixteens. Dun, 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 dun. Eight sixteens. Eight sixteens. And so now I have three 256s. Three times 256 plus eight times 16. is 896, so I've got 896, and now I need 911, and so I need four and 15, plus 15 is 911. So I need 15 of these, which is going to take me to, uh, A is 10, B, C, A, B, C, D, E, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, A, B, C, D, E, uh, F is 15, and I need how many of those? 15 F. And then we could check that, 3 8 F, uh, 3 8 F in decimal. Convert 3 8 F to hex to decimal. Do, 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 calculator, 3 8 F, 9 11. I saw that on a license plate. It was actually 0x, which is the notation to say, hey, this is hexadecimal. It was 0x, 938f. So uh, 0x38f. Um, that was on a 911, a Porsche 911, which is pretty cool. All right, so that's a numeral system. That's a decimal numeral system. That's a binary numeral system. That's a hexadecimal numeral system. Pretty cool, that's how it works. Uh, and you should know about that. And so now we could go back and we could look at what we've already learned. So let's go to, just as just like a little bit more insight for you, go to the Golang Playground. And uh, we could do just H and we'll assign that to a string. And we'll format it and run it and we'll print it out. And then we could do this. And we can say, hey, this is going to be a slice of byte. And we'll convert that to a slice of byte. And we'll assign it to a variable. And we'll print out that BS, <laughs> byte slice. And we have 72, the value is 72. 
And then we could access that using uh, index access, and we could say, hey, at index position zero, that's gonna be just the number 72. So we could assign that if we wanted to, to n colon equal that, and now we could print out n. And then we could find out what is the type of that And it's uint8, and I need a backslash, not a forward slash, for that new line. uint8, and, uh, and so the next thing uh, that we want to do there is we want to convert that to hexadecimal. So we could come up here, and we could go first to binary, binary, and then the next thing we could go, and I'm, you could just do x, and I'll, I'll show you this. If you do lowercase, it's lowercase, but if you do uppercase, then it's uppercase. Um, so it gave us 48, and if we do uppercase, it gives us the uppercase, which is no difference there, and we could do pound and, uh, and run that, and it gives us that 0x in front of it, which is like, hey, this is hexadecimal if we add in that pound. And so that gave us binary. So in binary, the 1s, the 2s, the 4s, the 8, uh, 16, 32, 64, so we have a 64 and an 8, which adds up to 72, and in hexadecimal, we have Eight, and then we have four in the 16's place, so four times 16 is 40, 24, 64, plus eight is 72. So that's going from decimal to binary to hexadecimal, and that, those are numeral systems, three different numeral systems. Three different ways to express quantity. Uh, how many oranges are on the table? There are 72 oranges on the table. There are one zero zero one zero 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 oranges on the table. There are 48 oranges on the table. <laughs> we all use decimal, but there's other ways that we could use these other numeral systems which have some application in other compu computing areas and mathematics and engineering. There's other ways we could do that, right? And those are those ways. And so if we look at that now, right? If we come back over to the ASCII coding scheme thing and we look at capital H, which is right here, We have 1001000, zero, zero, one, zero, zero, zero. we have decimal 72, we have hexadecimal 48. And up here at the top, binary, decimal, hexadecimal, and, uh, and then there's oct. So that's cool. Those are the, those are the coding schemes. Uh, those are the numeral, numeral, uh, numeral systems. Those are the numeral systems. <laughs>